Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming back if you are returning and if you are new, welcome, welcome. Today we have a little something different to show you. It is a Cartier watch unboxing. Without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see from the packaging, this comes from the Hourglass. The Hourglass is an established luxury watch dealer in Singapore since 1979. And later on, I'll just mention a bit about the differences between buying from a watch dealer versus from the Cartier Boutique directly. So in here, I have a Rolex coffee table book. Lots of beautiful pictures. I've got the receipt. And this is an in-house watch pouch. So Cartier has been well known as a jewellery maker. They were established in Paris in 1847 by Louis-Francois Cartier. He took over his master's workshop and subsequently he opened his first Cartier boutique in 1859. In 1874, his son Alfred Cartier took over the business and it was he who introduced Cartier into the royal houses of Europe. And hence, Cartier was famous as the jeweller of kings and king of jewellers. His sons, Louis, Pierre and Jacques joined the family business from a very young age and took the brand to the world by dividing a map among them. Each of them made immense contributions in their own way to the growth of the business and turned the brand into an international success. It remained a family business until 1964 and today it comes under the Richmond Group. In the 19th century, Cartier made pocket watches and necklaces incorporating watch movements. However, it was in 1904 that Cartier designed the first wristwatch when the famous aviator Alberto Santos Dumont commissioned his friend Louis Cartier to design a watch that he could wear to tell time while flying. Presenting to you by Panther de Cartier. This model, the Panther de Cartier, was first launched in the 1980s. It was discontinued in the early 2000s. But seeing that there was still a great demand for it in the resale market, this model was relaunched in 2017. The relaunch version is largely the same as the original version, with a square case, eight small screws on the bezel, the elongated Roman numerals, the railway track index, and the tiny secret Cartier signature in the X digit. Can you see it? It comes with the quartz movement and the concealed deployant clasp. So you can hardly see the joint here when it's worn making this look really like a bracelet. The small links on this bracelet makes it very soft and sleek. It molds to your wrist, making it very comfortable to wear. This model is a 27 mm size, which is a medium size and is in two tone. I also tried another version with diamonds on it but I decided to go for this. I think this will be a little bit more versatile that can be used from day to night. It has a blue spinner on the crown as well as blue sword-shaped hands. It looks almost black, but from certain angles, you will be able to see that they're blue. So here it is on my wrist. It is a timeless design that anyone, any age can wear and on any occasion. It is sporty, at the same time elegant, making it very versatile. And you can see that the bracelet wraps around the wrist like a piece of jewellery. Here are the differences between buying from a watch dealer versus buying from Cartier Boutique. When you buy from a watch dealer, 
you may be able to obtain a certain amount of discount, but this discount varies from shop to shop. And also, you would establish a relationship with the SA at the watch dealer. So if you are looking for some other hard-to-get luxury brand watches, such as the Rolex, you would have someone there to keep an eye for you and let you know when one becomes available. As for shopping at Cartier Boutique, you will not be able to get any discount. The prices are fixed, but you may be able to get some freebies with it. And of course, you get the whole shopping experience, the packaging as well. And the relationship you would have built with the SA at the boutique would help you to perhaps secure some advice to events in the future. So the decision depends on what matters to you most. I bought this watch with the intention of using it regularly, so that's what I'll do. And in a few months, I can come back and give you a review and tell you how it's holding up and whether it worked out for me. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for spending your precious time with me. Do give me your comments down below and let me know if you have any questions. I would also like to know whether you are a watch lover as well. And if you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up. It will be most encouraging for new content creators like me. Thanks again and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!